What's good, you guys? It's RT at YTS Gaming back at again with another video. Today, we have a new Harry Potter game coming out. It's a Gwinnish game. Hopefully, I'm not being tricked. Let's see what it is. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. For more videos, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm always doing reactions to the new stuff. People of the internet, it is actually happening. I, this I can't believe this, you guys. Legacy. I mean, I always thought there was a chance, but I did not expect it this soon. An official, dedicated, standalone Quidditch game. This is not standalone. April Fool's. I seriously okay. had to check the tweet like five times to make sure this was in fact legit. But we can confirm WB has officially announced Harry Potter Quidditch champions and you can sign up right now to be part of the play test we're going to go through okay. all the information right now there's a brand new website quidditchchampions.wbgames.com and they have an gotcha. official faq page there so right from the top here harry potter quidditch champions is a fast-paced competitive multiplayer game featuring the world's most iconic magical sport so obviously multiplayer there big news no multiplayer we'll component whatsoever in we'll hogwarts legacy no quidditch component in hogwarts legacy which is something that a lot of fans wanted clearly they knew this, but little did we know that they knew it this whole time. As you're going to see here in a bit, this has actually been in development for a while. So next question, who is publishing? Warner Brothers Games is publishing Harry Potter Quidditch Champions under the Port Key Games label. This is exactly the same as Hogwarts Legacy right there. Who is developing Harry Potter Quidditch Champions? This is where it gets different. Harry Potter Quidditch Champions has been in development for several years by Unbroken Studios. Some games that they have been a part of. Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. They're working with Rocksteady on that. Of course, that one is not out yet. According to their website, Unbroken Studios, is an LA-based team of 93 developers with proven track records of working on some of the most memorable franchises such as Battlefield, Call of Duty, God of War, and the Arkham series. But from what we know about all these franchises, they certainly weren't the lead developer on any of these. You know, those are some big names right there. Battlefield, Call of Duty, God of War, Arkham. And they're a relatively small team. So from what I can tell right now, it seems like this is their first dedicated project that they have solely been in charge of. Now, I'm going to do more research on that and we'll be sure to update you guys in a future video. But biggest takeaway for me right here is they clearly have experience working on some top-notch multiplayer titles. I mean, Battlefield, Call of Duty, you're talking some of the big time heavy hitters right there. And I've already seen some people asking, is this connected to Hogwarts Legacy in any way? Seems to be here the answer is no. They have a question here that says, is Harry Potter Quidditch Champions a standalone experience? And the answer is yes. Harry Potter Quidditch Champions is a complete standalone Quidditch experience developed by Unbroken Studios. It engages okay. players in the sport of Quidditch and other broomstick adventures alongside friends in a competitive multiplayer setting. Which, can we just pause for a second? This is exactly, exactly what most of us have been asking for. I know a lot of people were upset that Hogwarts Legacy did not have Quidditch, but many of us who followed Hogwarts Legacy along the way said no. To do Quidditch right, you really need to have someone develop that from the ground up, focusing solely on Quidditch, and that is exactly what WB has done here. Where can I play Harry Potter Quidditch Champions? This one is really important, guys. You need to go right now. If you're interested in this game, Go to the official website, sign up because it is in limited play testing right now. I signed up as soon as this announcement dropped. I have I'm not received up. anything up yet, but as soon as I do, whether it's good or bad, whether I get in or not, right I will here. be sure to let you guys know. When does Harry Potter Quidditch Champions release? A release date for Harry Potter Quidditch Champions has not been set. Now, the fact that it's in limited play testing already, I think is a very good sign. That means they clearly have a playable version of the game ready to go. I've not seen any footage yet whatsoever, though, so I don't know if that's that's rolling out today, this week, this it's month, real, this year. If Harry Potter it's Magic real. Awakened has taught us anything, it's that you just never know with these things. Magic Awakened has been apparently Sorry, very close to releasing up. multiple times in the US and the UK and other territories. And then they've hit some sort of stumbling block that's prevented that from happening. But the way this right here reads, I think we're going to be getting our hands on this game very, very soon, at least in this limited playtest version. What platforms will Harry Potter Quidditch Champions be available on? And then they say that it's going to be available for PC and consoles, which which have not yet been confirmed. Now, here's the interesting thing about that. Even though they say the consoles have not been confirmed, when you go to sign up for the play test, it actually asks you which platform do you play games on in Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, Switch, PC laptop, PC desktop, all of those are available. However, if I were you, I would not take that as an assumption that it will for sure be available on all of those. Can players customize their character in Harry Potter Quidditch Champions? Yes, players can create and customize their own Quidditch Champions. Does Harry Potter Quidditch Champions require an internet connection? Yes, Harry Potter Quidditch Champions is a competitive multiplayer experience that requires an internet connection to... Hold up, guy. 
Imagine if they have Harry Potter Greatest Champions ranked mode. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a thing. And then, like, tournaments and stuff. Man, I can't wait. I'm hyped. Play. So that's a big one right there, guys. And it connects directly to this next Don't question. Can I play Harry Potter Quidditch Champions with my myself, friends? Yes, you can play British Harry Potter World Quidditch Cup Champions before. solo or team up with friends or others game. online. Now, the solo part has me so, a little bit confused because the question man. right before it says you have to have an online connection to play. So what I think they mean by solo here is that, yes, you can solo queue, but the game itself is still online. You're still going to be in there with other people Facts. as you're playing. Now, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think we're going to have like any CP you games where it's like you versus the computer we'll keep an eye on this and see if they update that question and then all of those other questions i'll just leave those for you to read on your own if you follow the development of hogwarts legacy then all of those are going to be familiar to you they don't relate to this game specifically but more about portkey games as a whole so my initial impressions right now guys to be honest with you is one of shock not that this is actually happening because i always thought especially after the success of hogwarts legacy they will make a quidditch game one day but i did not realize it was actually already in development for several years as the faq says there okay now as the excitement starts to wane though now we actually start have to ask the real questions right how does the game actually play how much is it going to cost is it better than quidditch world cup it seems like we're going to be able to play all the positions wb tweeted out in their announcement and they said calling all beaters chasers keepers and seekers so the fact that they're calling out all the positions there and the fact that they're making a dedicated quidditch game i mean i think it's pretty clear that it is going to include all the positions but will they change up the rules? Because as you guys know, if you've read the books or seen the movies, it is certainly skewed in favor of the Seeker being very important, kind of determining everything else that happens with the game. And it's a little bit one-sided. So I think you could have a weird scenario if this is an online game where a team is just dominating and then the Seeker comes in and catches the snitch, actually kind of similar to what happened in the Quidditch Roll Cup in Goblet of Fire. I don't know that that would play well with a video game audience, especially for an online multiplayer game where people are going to be highly competitive in this, I guarantee you. But when I think about all the different mini game options and all the different tournament options and all of the extra things that they can do with this game it is so incredibly exciting especially because i know you guys the community have really wanted something like this quidditch was by far one of the most requested things for hogwarts legacy as was multiplayer as much as people loved hogwarts legacy i still think there was a huge portion of the audience who really wanted to be able to play with others play need, with your friends yeah, now i'm still holding out hope for an mmo at some point as well but right now i cannot wait to try this out hopefully Hopefully, I'll get that, in. Guys. We'll it's see. Fingers crossed if we can get into this. Game. And as soon as we get that hands on time, then we'll certainly have that up here on the channel. And you guys already know we're going to keep you up to date with everything happening with Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. If you want more content like that, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of it. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Well, that'll be it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. I will be continuing to cover this game when it comes out. So yeah, oh yeah, if I get into debate, I'm definitely dropping gameplay, so, well, well, that's trying to play stuff, but yeah, peace out, hope y'all have a wonderful day.